to simulate AND gate first select two diodes 1 2 place them like this connect their P terminals together then select a resistor connect resistor here change its value to 100 ohm now select DC source invert it and connect positive terminal to resistor negative to ground now you have to select logic this here are two logics connect one to A terminal and other to B terminal done now select LED here connect your LED to output this this is your output output terminal and connect its negative terminal to the ground now change the value of voltage source to 5 volt now we can see that the input A and B are given zero logic click play button for 00, zero we are getting zero output now for zero 01 again zero now for 10 again zero and for 11 one one, we are getting output 1 that means logic you can check so it's from the truth table of an AND gate this here is the circuit of an AND gate now we know a NAND gate is nothing but a NOT gate connected ahead of an AND gate so what we'll do is we'll just uh, disconnect this LED from here and connect the base of a NPN transistor here uh, now we'll do this because we know a NPN transistor acts as a NOT gate so uh, let's disconnect this select an NPN transistor Select two resistors, connect one resistor here, and its other terminal to the base of the transistor. Ground its empty terminal, connect this resistor to the collector terminal, and its other terminal. Here, change the value of resistor to 100 ohm. Connect the P terminal of the LED to collector and its end terminal to ground. Okay, now make the logic 00. zero. Now for 00, zero we know a NAND gate gives 1 let's see what happens for 00, zero we are getting 1 for zero 01 we should get 1 for 10 we should again get 1 but for 11 one we should get 0 we can see for 11 one our LED is off that means for 11 one we are getting 0 output let's see how this circuit is working for 00, zero logic we can see that the P terminal of both the diodes are at higher voltages whereas its N terminal is at down voltage so that means these two diodes acts like a short so all the current through the battery goes first from this resistor and then through the diodes to the ground so the that means the base of the transistor gets no voltages or zero voltage due to which it acts as like a open switch so all the current comes through this resistor then to the LED and then to the ground so LED is on if I give 0 1 this diode here acts like a short and this diode acts like open since this diode acts like a short all the current goes through this resistor and then through this diode to the ground due to which the base of the transistor gets no current and thus it acts like again an open switch so all the current through this resistor and then through LED and then goes to ground. If I give 10, same thing will happen. This will act as a open, this will act as a short. 
Now if I give 1 1, let's see what happens. In the case of 1 1 logic, this acts as an open, this also acts as an open circuit. So the base of the transistor gets now gets some voltage and due to which some current flows to the base of the transistor. Now uh, due to the flow of current in the base of the transistor, it acts in uh, as, as an open switch. As it acts as, acts as an open switch, that means there is a short circuit from this terminal to this terminal. So all the current goes through this resistor, through uh, through this uh, transistor, which is acts like a uh, short circuit, and then to the ground. That means this this LED here gets no current, and that's why it is uh, it is in off condition. So for one one, we are getting zero output. To simulate an OR gate, select two diodes like we selected in the case of an AND gate. Connect them like this. Here, connect their AND terminal together. Now select a resistor. Select two logics. 1 2 connect 1 to A terminal another to B terminal select an LED connect its P terminal to the resistor and N terminal to ground so this is the whole circuit now we can see we have given 0 0 logic to the inputs. Uh, first change the value of resistor to 100 ohm as 1 kilo ohm is a very large. Okay. Now pick play. For 0, 0 we are getting 0 output. That means for an OR gate 0 plus 0 equals to 0. Now for 0, 1, 0, 1 we are getting 1 output. That means 0 plus 1, 1. Let's see for 1, 0. 1, 0 again we are getting 1. Now for 1, 1 again 1, 1 plus 1, 1. So this is the complete functioning of an OR gate. So this is the circuit of an OR gate which we built in our earlier video. Now we know that an OR gate is nothing but a NOT gate connected in front of an OR gate. So what you'll have to do is just replace this LED and connect the base of an unpinned transistor here. Because the unpinned transistor act as a NOT gate. So we just disconnect this LED from here. Select the transistor unpin transistor this one and connect its base here change the value of this resistor to 1 ohm ground its empty terminal now select a DC voltage source change its value to 5 volt connect its positive terminal to the collector now select a ground and ground its negative terminal. Select a resistor, uh, connect it here. But change its value to 100 ohm. 100 ohm is enough. Okay. Now connect your LED here at the character terminal and ground it at the terminal now here logic is 1 1 let's see what happens for 1 1 I am getting 0 output that means for an uh, for an OR gate 1 1 gives 0 if I do 1 0 I should get 0 here you can see for 0 1 0 let's see what happens for 0 0 For 0, 0, I am getting output 1. For a NOT gate, 0 plus 0 means 0 and NOT gives 1. Okay, for 1, 1, 1 plus 1, an OR gate gives 1, but a NOT gate ahead of OR should give it 0. So, zero. for 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, and NOT gate gives 0. For 1, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, and NOT gate gives it 0.
if zero volt is given at p terminal of a diode it acts like an open if one is given it acts like a short so right now i have given zero zero logic to both diodes that means this is open and this is open these both are open that means here i am getting zero volt zero volt here means transistor the base of a transistor is at zero volt that means it acts like an off off switch that means transistor is off you can uh, say that uh, the transistor is not here any longer so all the current just passes through this led and led blinks if i give zero one this diode uh, this diode is open the circuit is open but this diode acts like a short circuit so the one logic comes here and your base base of the transistor uh, gets some voltage due to which your transistor due to which your transistor uh, acts like an on switch that means all the current all the current through the battery goes uh, through the collector and then to the emitter and then to the ground and that's why your led is off if i give one zero the same thing happens but just uh, reverse of that that means this diode is open but this is a uh, short if i give one one this diode acts like a short this diode uh, uh, this diode also acts like a short that means the base of the uh, the base of the transistor gets some voltage due to which transistor acts like a uh, like a switch uh, in on switch so all the current passes to the collector then to the emitter and then to the ground and that's why uh, th this led gets no current so it is off to simulate a not gate using transistor a selector and pin transistor from here select led also or you need a logic source select two resistors and a voltage source now select this resistor and connect it to the base terminal of your transistor keep its value to 1 kilo connect logic source to this resistor now connect this resistor here to connect the terminal but change its value to 100 ohm now connect this dc voltage source positive terminal to the resistor and negative to the ground terminal change the value of voltage source to 5 volt ground your emitter terminal and connect your led just here at the collector terminal ground its uh, end terminal okay so we have given zero logic let's see what happens for zero for zero logic our led is on that means for zero we are getting logic 1 at the output if i change the logic to 1 led is off that means at output i am getting 0 volt so for 1 0 and for 0 1